Hey everybody, Quint Lears at the 2020 International Builder Show. We're here at the Nationals. We have a gold award winner here. How does it feel to win gold? Oh, it's such an honor. It's an absolute honor. It was a huge surprise, and I'm just so proud of my team and Ingram and Associates and Ferris Properties, uh, who we worked with on this project. So I'm, I'm thrilled. Brittany Bradford. Yes. And it's a big deal. So we are, we're set to sell Best Merchandiser. Is that correct? Tell me what, what you did to win this award and tell me about the award. Sure. So we uh, merchandised a loft and it was a historic building in downtown Birmingham, Alabama. And we um, just entered and, and won. So. Okay. Is there a URL or a website where we could see what you did? Um, if you go to our website, settosell.com, it's S-E-T-T-O-S-E-L-L.com, uh, you can see pictures of the, uh, the lofts. And then tell me, okay, when you are d merchandising something, because I see what's trending now. Is it minimizing? Is it color? Tell me colors, anything that you see that's like, this is what I like to do. Or is it different with every property? I think it's different with every property. It depends on the market that you're targeting. Um, but I am seeing more people wanting to go back to color and not using just neutrals throughout and linen slipcovers. They're starting to want more color in their properties. What would be the biggest mistake if you said, look, I mean, I know every community is different, but if you had a, a merchandiser who was wanting to be successful, what would you say, like, hey, you need to do this or do that? I would say pay attention to scale. Um, make sure when you're p accessorizing things, don't over-accessorize and make it look cluttered. And also think in terms of photography, how will the property photograph? And are you going to make it, you want the buyer to see how the space is going to be used. So it's very important to keep that in mind in the placement of the furniture. Do you have any little trade secrets like putting a live plant versus a plastic one or any like kind of cliche no-nos or things to avoid? Um, things to avoid, I'm trying to think. I, my main thing would be most like just over accessorizing. I think that's something to stay, you don't want to do that, so. Well, listen, when you make it to the top, you know, we know that it's a team effort. Any shout outs? Yes, definitely. So uh, John Chapman with Ferris Properties, he was the developer for the Franklin Lofts and um, also Ingram and Associates, Margie Ingram. Um, they did an incredible job and Brian Sparks. We worked with them um, throughout this project. And so it was just a pleasure and an honor and also the NEHB and to the judges. So thank you so much. It was such an honor. And to my team as well. I'm sorry, my team as well. This is a big deal. You're here at the Nationals. Our, your team is obviously very proud of you. We're proud of you. Thanks for uh, competing at a high level and winning. Oh, thank you. It's such a pleasure. Hope to see you next year at the 2021 Nationals. Visit thenationals.com.